Welcome to the Circuit Tracks Easy Start Journey. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with your circuit in five steps. You'll then have the option to watch more tutorials if you want to dive deeper. When you turn on your circuit tracks for the first time, you'll have a demo project loaded like this one. These are great to explore and learn from but in this video, we'll be starting from scratch. You can then use this knowledge to create your own projects or to build on the demo projects. Let's get started by loading a blank project. Press the projects button. On the top two rows, you can see 16 demo projects and on the two rows below, you can see 16 blank project slots. Select any of these, press drum one and we're ready to go. On each of the four drum tracks, you can select your sound using the bottom two rows of pads, and then add steps using the top two rows of pads. Let's set the tempo that we want by pressing tempo and using this dial. On each of the two synth tracks, you can select your sound using the preset menu. Press record and then play and play your pattern in. You can use clear and duplicate for your notes. On the mixer page, you have a mute button for each track. And you also have a volume dial above each track. master filter is great for EQ sweeps. On the effects page, you have eight different reverbs and 16 different delays to choose from. If we wanted to apply reverb to the clap, for example, select the reverb that you want to use and then use the dial above the track to apply the reverb. If you want to use drum one, which is the kick, to sidechain synth one, which is the bass, press effects again to go into this sidechain view. You can now adjust how much drum one is ducking synth one just here. If you want to turn these one bar loops into two bar loops, you can hold down duplicate and press the step page button, which has turned green. What you've just done is duplicated that one bar loop into a two bar loop, including the notes that we'd put in. You can switch between the two bars using the step page. The button is blue when you're looking at steps one to 16, and it's orange when you're looking at steps 17 to 32. Watch the button as I play through. Thank you. 
What we're viewing here and what we just turned into a two bar loop is called a pattern. Now in the patterns view, you have eight of these patterns per track, which you can scroll through using these arrow keys. So if I wanted to add in a different baseline, for example, then I could select an empty pattern for synth one. And I now have an empty pattern to work with. Now let's go back to the patterns page. This one is flashing. It's the second one I created, and that indicates that that's the one that's playing. If I want to switch back to the first one, if I hold down the top pattern and press the second one, you can see that now they're both lit up, which means that they're going to play one after the other. In a later tutorial, I'll show you how you can take full control of these patterns to create full arrangements. Using the buttons below, you can choose where you'd like to go next. 